You will never find where I am in the history of ever. Okay, it's kind of obvious. Welcome back to the walkthrough. So, um, we have our choices. Oh, well, I didn't mean to unlock that, but <laughs> I wanted to go down, down and right when I hit that in the middle. That's okay, we have plenty of stars to unlock that even now. Yeah, let's look at this one. Mm -mm -mm. It's only got one star. Hmm. How would I... Mm -hmm. Ah, why not? <laughs> Shiver burn galaxy. I do should like to do the one star ones. As like filler if need be. But eh. Mm -hmm. Prince Picante's a peppery mood. Fire spewing enemy ho? Sure. <laughs> so it's fire and ice there. <laughs> It's a silly boss. That's Prince Picante. I forgot how to beat him, actually. I might remember it as we get into it, though, so it'll be interesting to, <laughs> to get back into that. These sink in the lava. Yeah, whenever you see these sorts of unstable mesh platforms, it means there be a dangerous sinkage going on here. What's the point of that one coin being over there? It's like, you're probably gonna take damage getting to that coin, and it's so early in the level, that it's just going to replenish your health, if anything. If, I mean, I, yeah, I got it without it, but... I mean, it's just the thing of that... It's, it's... Oh, shoot! It's awkward, like, getting this cloud flower. Oh, shoot, and I just lost it. Oh, shit! <laughs> fantastic starts. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah, see that? It's just like, why would you even go over there unless you have to and you could get a coin from an enemy if you took damage from an enemy just by jumping on them <laughs> anyway i do want that cloud flower though just for the sake of handiness here so i'm gonna do that grab it and long jump from here oh that's not gonna work out because <laughs> my angle is a little bit off but yeah just it just makes things over here a little bit easier We've got zappy zappies coming along here and all sorts of stuff, so it's kind of handy to have. <laughs> I don't know how often I'll need to use it, and I could even get another one here if, you, if I really wanted to. I think, oh, shoot, that's actually... Um, wait a second, do I, do I really have to use Power of the Cloud to get across? I guess I do. I mean, it's not impossible, obviously, but I, I just thought there was another platform going on over there. Uh, Let's just take a look-see ahead here. Can I go? There we go. It's always nice to look ahead when you're on a potentially moving platform segment. Oh, that's not a moving <laughs> And totally flip-flop the music, too. But yeah, totally not a <laughs> moving platform segment like I thought. Man, I, my memory on this whole level is just failing me. I even, like, even the, the boss, the, the way this level works. Will I even be able to find the Comet Medal? Who knows? <laughs> oh shoot, I lost, <laughs> I lost my giblets. Well, I'll have to deal. I'll have to deal. Oh, well, there's a pipe. We've seen that there is a pipe way ahead of time, so let's explore the pipe. Probably just a bonus. Yeah. Oh, that's for the secret <laughs> That's right, I, I forgot about that too. That's another thing you gotta come back to. So there's actually two stars here, of course. I thought the second star was a comet or something, but no, it's a it's a chimp challenge. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going around back to heated music, heated lava, heated octumbas. And you'll notice that these platforms eventually end. <laughs> they just go around like a I guess you could say a Saturn-like ring of lava, and then once they hit that ring, they're gone. Oh shoot, I'm kinda... Oh jeez, that was... that was lucky. I didn't even know that there was that gap at that particular moment in time. I know the gap is on that one, but I didn't know it was in that particular moment. <laughs> we got some coconuts. Use coconuts to whack open chests if you'd like to. Um... Can I get up there? Aw, oh, man, just far, far too slippery, isn't it? Man, <laughs> sure looks like that you could climb those, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I thought it did. I don't think there's a comet metal here, but I think it was actually on this planet, if I recall correctly, so it might be in the, the second section. Yes, the coconuts do keep respawning. Oh, there it is, okay. So we need, we need to get ourselves over to this one, so we can comet metal it up. And I'm gonna keep ex oh shoot, keep exploring this here. 
just for kicks. Because I know there's that launch star there and everything like that, but there's just still more to see here. <laughs> Uh, you know, let's not skip out, skimp out on the exploring here. It's not Whee! super dangerous or anything like that. It's just platforming on rather wide. Oh, that's it. <laughs> this is a platforming on rather wide segments. So, yeah. Ooh, star miss. Oh, flying above where you just were. Man, if only that other launch star would have done that, it would have saved us time. Although, although. There is no chance of actually getting the Comet Medal then. So maybe it did do us a favor. So now... Oh man. Oh man. This, 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 the Gut Meteor is actually causing lava piles of sorts. And yes, that one-up is really, really risky to get on the other side. And we don't have the Cloud... Uh, the Cloud Flower too, so we'd have to do some really fancy, uh, really quick jumps on and off of it, so that's it's kind of kind of probably out of my uh, current risk tolerance. <laughs> By the way, if you ever want to stop skating, all you have to do is just jump in the air and then do a spin, and then just land straight down. You won't have to worry about spinning out of control. I should say skating out of control or anything like that. Oh, a, a regular octopus. Yeah, they're actually just called octopus. Of all the things that are named different in this game, those aren't one of them. And they're probably the like the least octopusy than any of them, because they don't even have legs. <laughs> but basically you hit the coconuts and they automatically just home in on them on the way back and then they're done. It's not that, all that difficult or anything like that. And now I got sort of the opposite going on. I got stuff that freezes so we can go forward. I'd recommend just staying here until you get another wave of uh, ice coming. Just saying. <laughs> oh, shoot! That little, little tiny gap of lava got me. Oh, <laughs> this tiny gap of lava got me. Boss incoming, of course. Uh, we finally made it deep into enemy territory. Prince Picante is right over there. I don't know if I'm shaking because I'm cold or scared. <laughs> uh, just go back to the lava area. It's much warmer. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, man, Prince Picante. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so how do I beat you again? <laughs> Looks like you got stuff on your body to shoot. Oh, it's probably just shoot coconuts back at him. Oh! Yeah, that certainly looks like it. <laughs> Just like the regular octopus, octopi, something. I'm not sure of the plural. <laughs> Probably should be covering my health a little bit there. Alright, waiting for another coconut. There she goes. Or I should say, there she flows. And coconut, coconut, coconut. Oh man, we are multiplying those coconuts like crazy now. Where is the co whoops, the coconut that I need though? Uh oh, it might be coming out coming down from the sky. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yes it they are. Oh poopers. So oh, shoot. Uh, I'm just making the dumbest of mistakes, but that's okay. We'll be good. Oh wait wait no that, so you you can hit them that way too I guess. So both ways now still at this phase, which is okay with me. Oh, that's perfect. That should do it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll win. I'll win. <laughs> Alright. We're off. <laughs> Woo! Alright, Secret Star, which you know exactly where it is, but we still gotta go back to it anyway. But there might also be a cutscene for Comet or something like that too, and I might, might decide to go back to this part as well. There's always a chance of a Comet. You know that to be true. <laughs> oh, there actually might be a Comet. <laughs> oh, yes there is! <laughs> But since I am on the topic of a different galaxy, I'll continue it. Uh, oh shoot. Oh, please don't be- don't, don't be Peach addressing the Luma now. <laughs> My lost Luma, there are many kind of people out there who are watching over you. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine down on you. Well, it's not sh at by Peach, so who knows? Who knows? It's, a, it's like 50 items. So it's, yeah, it's not just one item, it's 50 of those suckers. Alright, back to Shiverburn Galaxy. 
question mark. <laughs> and okay. Secret Star, which I also forgot the name of, that you can now see on the screen, begin! It is not Prince Picante's peppery mood, it is something else! <laughs> I'm just gonna do that here, and I'm gonna do my usual speed run back to where I was whenever I replay a level that took me a while to, <laughs> to actually go through during my initial exploration. I think I'm actually gonna skip that. Cloudflower over there this time just to see how much more successful I am without it. I'll probably be just fine. It's just a matter of just focusing on the laser blasts that are timed the exact same way each time, which makes it more like a rhythm game than a platformer. <laughs> well, I guess there is some rhythm to platforming too. Uh, this one I must get because remember, you've got to use this to go over here. There we go. I wonder if you could actually salvage your your cloud and get all the way over there without having to freeze the world like this. Who knows? Oh shoot, well, I lost it now. But I wanted to do a start skating because it's a little bit a little bit more swift than oof, a little more swift than running, but well <laughs> it's, it ain't happening here. We are getting oh shoot so much higher for some reason. Okay. At least I don't have to worry about that here. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Alright, Chimp Skating Challenge number two, maybe? That's the name of it? Who knows? Ah! Got the time? Time to take on the chip! Hope you like the skate pal, because here you're gonna need a skate and bump as many gummits as you can! They finally gave the name of them! Yeah! Boy, the spiky gum itself. So. Oh no! Let's see what you got. All right. Gotta get the star for 100 percent. You better give the star for 600 freaking points. <laughs> but that is the same dialogue before, basically. I think. All right, green gummits. Green gummits. Yes, yes. Num num. Delicious in my tum tum. Oh, gold. Whoa. Let's see if I can do this smoother than I did the last time. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go smoother than it did the last time. Eh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, that was cheap. <laughs> Mind you, you, you could stay away from anything that looks like it's gonna pop up just in case, but then you might be away from an uh, actually safe and healthy gummit to hit. <laughs> uh, there better be a lot of gold ones at the end. Uh, sh oh, that's not gonna help. <laughs> well, there's my gold one, but that's not really... Yeah, I had... Had too many blunders from the spikers. That's okay. That was pretty close, though. It's just that I gotta have less blunders. <laughs> go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Not gonna, not gonna skate until I know. Okay, was it only start at the center? Like the first one only start at the center? Because that's a one and nine shot otherwise. And I got a two runs in a row. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna. We're gonna focus on... Oh, it actually does look like the same sorts of patterns, so maybe it does have a, a certain repeat going on. Yeah, I don't think it was like that with the other one. So, whoops, yeah, I should have known that one was coming. So I guess with perfect memorization, you could get a perfect score, um, in theory. But then, oh, shoot. But then that probably takes a lot of the challenge, too. Ah, oh, oh, that was even worse. <laughs> And we get teleported back here from the transition. Yup. I ain't leaving until I get 600. <laughs> okay, so maybe this one's a little bit harder than the first. Okay, yeah, the first one always seems to start at that one. Let me go off into randomless land. So we do we do get similar patterns, but they aren't quite the same each time, so I guess you can't memorize it like I thought. So it's still gonna come down to pure skill. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> you know what I should do? I should hit these and go off to the outside so I don't get spiked. Why didn't I ever think of that before? Like, so I don't lose time from getting spiked? Yeah. That seems like a better route to take things. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. Get the gold. Gold, gold. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That last, the last little bit there gets a teeny bit frantic. 
<laughs> Too bad for you, Game Master. You may be my eternal rival when it comes to gaming skill. Seeing you in action is well worth a star. <laughs> Still love that clap. All right, secret star is a get. I'm still at one health. <laughs> Didn't even replenish my health, but it doesn't matter in the slightest. All right, one more star I'm gonna do, and of course it's gonna be the comet to finish off Slip Sand Galaxy. Woo! There shouldn't be another comet that'll pop up um, over here because it's only one comet at a time, basically. I usually, uh, oh. Okay, there is. B-Block Galaxy, and that that's going to be a nasty one, I assure you. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when we get into it. But for now, I'll focus on the Daredevil run I talked about at Slip Sand. Behold! <laughs> Warning! You are going to die a lot, probably! Squizzard's Daredevil run. It's probably going to poop us all the way over at the boss right away, as usual. So, we don't have the whole whole stage to daredevil through, although that stage is probably easier to daredevil through than the bosses, because of some randomish random factors to it, but eh, we'll see how things go. Let's just trigger its appearance here, and hope we can daredevil this like a pro. Come on, first try, baby, first try, baby, we can do this. <laughs> We probably can't do this, but we'll see. Mm, well, I'm just waiting for the earliest opportunity for it to open its mouth, so I can automatically just start flinging fireballs into it. Uh, yeah, just kind of start with the damage really quick. I'm gonna have to replenish that. There we go. Uh, all the spikiness begins. They're a lot, a lot more dangerous to an extent. Okay, he's stunned. We can do this. We can do this. We are down to two hits. I mean, we did two hits, two hits are down. Now we're in the third phase where the bombs and cannons start happening, and this is where things can go south. <laughs> he's, got, he's got those double bombs that he throws sorta at you, but not quite. It's, it's like he throws them where you're going in a way. Sorta, kinda. And then his mouth is not open for a very long time. So that's another big factor about this. Oh shoot, that's not... Well, wait, 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 I see your lips, I see your lips quivering. <laughs> okay, you're only gonna, you're only gonna open it after you open, shoot bombs, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Uh, anyway, I gotta replenish my fire flower anyway. Cause you're gonna be like that. Oh jeez, I just almost got myself spiked. Cause I was not paying attention to where I was long jumping. Okay, this is good right here, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh man, first try. No! <laughs> Cannons! Oh, I forgot about the side cannons! So close! So close! Okay, fire flower. I was just grab the nearest one. That always seems to be the only option that's the nearest here. And open wide, you sucker! Oh, that's. <laughs> I was just say, that's not looking good, and I was right. <laughs> Good thing I've got 12 lives to burn here. Not that a game over means much, because we'll be staring right over here, besides the game over screen having to deal with the continue screen or whatever. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, but, well, it's just how things things roll if you really run down your lives. But hopefully it's not going to come to that. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat this duder here within 12 lives. <laughs> Most likely, okay, there we go. Alright, so I should say re-beat this duder within 12 lives. You know, I should actually time my grabs on the fire flowers a little bit better, too. Yeah, like, just about the time when it's about to open its mouth, I should grab a fire flower and then begin hurling fiery death upon him. Uh, that's not a good position to do so. I'll just skip it. I should actually start throwing these suckers to get rid of the spike balls, though. <laughs> this is spike balls are kind of, kind of clogging up the works here. Okay, can I like, can I just like destroy them? Oh yes, I can actually. That actually might be more helpful. Uh, oh man, because <laughs> I don't want to have to run around in circles trying to offset the timing of things 
in the rhythm of things and whatnot. So I can just go like this. And oh! My fireball actually hit the spike ball behind me. That's just that's just mean. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna run out. Uh, try and land on a platform that's about to open its mouth. Um, oh wait, that was actually pretty good there. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, how did I get it so good the first run anyway? That was just like... It just went so smoothly and then things went south and I didn't pay attention to the, the side cannons. <laughs> I wonder if there's an easier way to beat this boss than the method that I'm using, probably. I mean, there's always probably a method to the madness. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and stun him. Oh, 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 shoot, no you don't. No you don't, you freaking dare on me. You dared! <laughs> Ran out so close to the to victory. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Alright, throw your bombs. I'm ready for them. Ish. <laughs> oh man. Sorta of ready for them, ish. <laughs> Just a matter of getting everything perfect in a single run, I guess. <laughs> everything needs to be timed at just right. Everything must be cleared of distractions. Go on, Psych Cannon, you're going down, you sucker. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, don't run out, don't you dare run out, this is, yeah! This is the run indeed. <laughs> I was just about to say, this is the run, and I was right. <sighs> Daredevil completed with just two lives. See, it wasn't going to take 12, or even 14, because it started with... <laughs> oh, I just got, got the star when it ran out, nice. Alright. Beat block probably to start the next part, probably, and then we're gonna head over to another new galaxy of sorts, probably. Unless there's gonna be another dual comet at once. May really? Wow. Now I'm gonna have to think about it. <laughs> Maybe I'll feed that Luma and see, you know, if it has a I think it has a one star galaxy. Uh, where the path that the Luma feeding area goes to. But anyway, for now, I'm just going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I do something that makes about a 20-minute part or so. 